This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by MyHouseCleaningBiz.com and the new ebook that's free for members called Managing Unacceptable Employee Behavior in Your Cleaning Business. I'm Jean Hansen and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. <laughs> If you're a cleaning business owner with employees, you've no doubt had one of them break a rule. Whether it's showing up late to work, taking longer than allowed lunch breaks, or showing up to work under the influence, it's a rule violation. Now in general, your employees don't intentionally break the rules, but when they do, it's up to you to get to the root cause, especially if it becomes a chronic problem. So what causes your employees to break the rules? Well here are five common causes of rules violations. Number one, they were not aware they were breaking a company rule. If you don't have your rules in writing, you can't expect an employee to know the rules, even if you think it's just common sense. And if you do have the rules in writing, well then you need to review them with each employee instead of expecting them to just read the rules on their own time. Number two, they were aware they were breaking a company rule, but thought it was a minor violation and not a big deal. Many employees think that being five or 10 minutes late to work once in a while is not a big deal. It's your job to explain why it is a big deal in your company and that it will not be tolerated. Number three, they were aware they were breaking a company rule, but thought they were, there were extenuating circumstances that justified their violation. For example, an employee doesn't show up to work at all and doesn't call with an explanation. Well, the next day you find out that her mother was in a car accident, was taken to the hospital, so the employee spent the night at the hospital with her mother. Although there was a good reason for not coming to work that night, it doesn't excuse the fact that all she had to do was call you from her cell phone to explain what happened so that you could immediately make adjust adjustments to the schedule that night. Number four, they were aware they were breaking a company rule, but lost control of their emotions during the heat of the moment. Now this is, a com this is a common situation in a confrontational situation at the workplace. An example would be an employee that argued with a supervisor and it escalated to name calling and maybe using foul language, which is a rule violation. Number five, they were aware they were breaking a company rule and didn't care. In this case, you must talk to the employee to see if they truly care about employment with your company. If they do, make it clear that any more rules violations will result in termination. If they don't, it's time to terminate this employee. Just make sure you have adequate written documentation. Now, when you're talking to employees about rules violations, it might be helpful to share these common causes that I just mentioned and ask the employee to identify which situation explains their violation. This can be the start of a constructive conversation with your employee that gets to the heart of the problem and gets you on the road to a resolution. That's it for today's show. Be sure to check out the new ebook available to members of MyHouseCleaningBiz.com that's called Managing Unacceptable Employee Behavior in Your Cleaning Business. If you're dealing with employee behavior problem, this ebook is packed with the information you need to start solving the problems and getting your company back on track. I'm Jean Hansen, and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time.